Hi guys, and welcome to episode three of Project Size. In the last couple of weeks, we've talked about an overview of my training and an overview of my nutrition during this lean muscle gain phase. Now we're going to talk about supplements. As a personal trainer, supplements are one of the most asked questions I get on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about debunking some of the myths and then some of the positives of supplementing. The first thing to remember is that supplements are there as it says in the name, to supplement your training, nutrition, and recovery. They are there to add the extra couple of percent that we need to make gains, but they are not the cornerstone of our training, nutrition, or recovery. So the three main supplements that I wanna talk about today and that have been crucial in gaining lean muscle size are protein, cyclic dextrin, and creatine. All three of these have been fundamental in getting results over the last six months. And they are also things that are talked about a lot and still a little bit of questions coming in around these three subjects. So first up, let's talk about whey protein. Now protein is one of the most used supplements by pretty much any gym goer. Anytime you see someone training, generally when they finish, they grab a shaker, mix up some protein and have a shake. So what are the benefits of protein shakes? Number one, they are so easy to have. Anyone can have them straight after a training session, instant protein to aid with recovery and muscle repair post a heavy training session. So protein is really, really useful. Again, as we discussed at the beginning of this video, it is a supplement and the core basis of our protein we wanna be getting from the nutrition that we are putting into our body, okay? So given the option between the two, a chicken breast or a protein source from a powder, always the chicken breast is going to win. However, if we're looking to gain lean muscle tissue, straight away 25 grams of protein is an ideal way to do that. It is quick, it is easy, it's cheap, and you can carry it with you wherever you go in a, a protein shaker rather than carrying around a Tupperware, for example. Another benefit of protein, I find in my experience of working with clients, it's a nice little sort of sweet reward that we can give to people straight after a training session. You'd be surprised how many people get excited about getting their cookies and cream or their chocolate peanut butter shake out post-workout and it almost makes them work a little bit harder during that training session to earn that protein reward at the end. So protein is definitely something I would recommend to anyone looking to gain lean muscle size. It's your 25 grams of protein straight after that workout tastes good and is really, really effective to grab on the go. Next up, I wanna talk about cyclic dextrin, which in its simplest form is a fast releasing carbohydrate powder, okay? This is not something I personally use for a long period during my sort of training history, but ever since I started to work with a coach, it's something that we've introduced. We've used it during a cutting phase and now we've used it a lot during our lean bulk phase as well. So very, very useful for gaining lean muscle tissue. Essentially, in its simplest form, it is very, very simple carbohydrates that are soluble and get digested into your system very, very quickly. That makes it ideal for an intra-workout drink. What I mean by that is a drink that I will have during my training session. As I say, this is a very, very fast-releasing carbohydrate. So I use it during my training session to prolong my energy and to instantly sort of upgrade already my training from that recovery, even during the session. So it'll aid me while I'm doing my big lifts, lifting weights, etc., for giving me extra ed energy to push all the way through to the end of the workout. It is really, really good for muscle repair, muscle recovery. Another big benefit as well, which is very, very popular at the moment, it is both vegan and vegetarian friendly, as well as some of the protein shakes that obviously you can get. You don't need a, a whey isolate. So all of these are vegan and vegetarian friendly, and I would highly recommend for anyone looking to gain lean muscle tissue to be having some cyclic dextrin intra-workout during their workout process to kickstart that recovery period and to give you increased energy during your training session. One slight caveat to bear in mind that a 25 grand serving is 95 calories. So this is part of your daily calorie total as well. So just bear that in mind if you're looking to gain or lose um, body fat, that this is a calorie consumption and it does take part in your daily calorie total. 
the last supplement that has really helped me gain lean muscle size is creatine. Now creatine is often one of the most debated, controversial supplements in the fitness industry. The amount of sort of wrong assertions that we hear in the fitness industry about creatine and some people confusing it with performance enhancing drugs and all these other things, bloating, absolute nonsense. Creatine should be taken by anyone seriously looking to, uh, to increase athletic performance, strength, size, and people looking to lose body fat and get shredded as well. Creatine, I can't recommend it highly enough. I believe almost everyone should be taking creatine in some format. I prefer the powdered version. I have that in my intra-workout shake that I've discussed before with the, the cyclic dextrin. And I also have some in a shake first thing in the morning. So I dose with about 10 grams of creatine a day. I would recommend most people look to supplement in that five to 10 grams of creatine daily, every single day. People talk about loading creatine and uh, also going on pauses from creatine. I wouldn't personally recommend that. And in my experience, that isn't beneficial. Most people can handle five grams to 10 grams of creatine on a daily dose. Supplementing with creatine gives us increases in power and strength. Both of these are crucial for performance in, in the gym and increasing muscle size, muscle density, and muscle performance. All of those things are essential if we're looking for gaining muscle size. I really can't recommend creatine enough. However, as I said at the beginning of this episode, all of these things are supplements. They are supplementing the other areas of our life. So if our training is not on point, our recovery is not on point, and our nutrition, crucially, are not on point, these supplements essentially will become a little bit redundant, won't be adding the extra percentages that we need to increase our, our training and our workouts and our recovery. So get those basics right before we start looking at supplements. I hope that's helped to answer some of the many questions you might have on supplementing for muscle size. Slightly different from supplementing if you were looking to, to lose weight or, or get shredded, but very, very crucial either way. I hope you've enjoyed that episode. Make sure you tune in next week. We're gonna be talking about the cardiovascular element of gaining lean size. Again, very, very important and often misconstrued. So cardio for muscle size next week. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode.